hang on. <laughs> You're not allowed to go. <laughs> see where they're at and they're just disappeared. What's up everybody? Welcome back to another Mole Man episode. The man himself. The That's guy great. that quit the lifestyle. I'm done, man. Get that thing off me. <laughs> <laughs> You're not allowed to be in front of a camera anymore. No. Got I'll, old. I'll hold it. I'll hold it from now on. Yeah, he's the new cameraman. He new moved down here. Producer right here. Moved down to Texas to help me out. But we got old Jared Outlaw himself down here in Texas. We're waiting for this rain to go away. It is. Uh, it's been raining here for probably the past two hours, and you can kind of see the sun. It's wanting to come out, and we're hoping. The turkeys go nuts when the sun comes out. So, Jared, Jared's on the gun, and we're gonna try to get one down this afternoon. He just got in, picked him up from the airport this morning, and uh, we're gonna try to kill a turkey this evening. Well, it didn't stop raining for us for very long yesterday. No. But it is the next morning. Starting and to get And y'all can see the sun is coming up. So we're going to do a little sneaky sneaking in the golf cart. And uh, go try to get a... Try to hear us a gobble. And then go from there. two turkeys and we saw like four toms he responded for 10-15 minutes and just got hung up somewhere and then just stopped responding all together so we're gonna go back to where we saw those four or five other toms see if we can locate them He's up there taking a nap, and uh, my dad's been down here working on Land Cruiser. We're doing a little update build on the Land Cruiser video. Um, we still have tons to do, but so far, my dad has, uh, well, we painted this the other day. We're changing all the emblems, all the gold. What's What once was gold is going black. Uh, he just put in these new headlights. These are the old ones. You can see how foggy and yellow they are. Those new ones look awesome. Euro styling. Euro style, he says. Got all styling. And he's working on WeatherTech floor mats right now. We got new wheels at the tire at the uh, house. Of course, we have all the ARB bumpers at the house. We got brand new, awesome seat covers. We got to do those, and then this is going to be the real chore. It is an actual sew-on steering wheel cover kit so we'll see how this actually looks whenever we get done with it um, so yeah we got quite a bit to of work to do here in a minute but I will keep you guys updated well it took us about an hour and a half but 
We got them seat covers in. Yeah, they look good. They're comfy too. Yeah, they are. They look really good. The only thing that they forgot was the center console cover. Yeah. We still gotta look through all the boxes to make sure we didn't leave it out, but Is I it think just the top. Uh yeah. But I think they forgot them. Look at that. Oh yeah. That's pretty dope. That's sweet. Too bad we can't get it here in America. Stealth mode in the cart. Got the turkey decoy them back. We're ready for it all. Yeah. Did business. Well, Did. Did business. Holy crap, dude. Ooh. Nothing like a midday turkey. <laughs> Running gun. Legit. Holy cow, dude. He's a jumbo, too. Two year old. He's got big spurs, too. Oh my gosh, we've been after these palms so for... Yeah, it is. <laughs> Holy cow. Can't believe it finally happened. It's so hot. It is hot. It's like 85 degrees. It's 2 in the afternoon. We didn't stop though. Yeah, we just killed a turkey at 2 in the afternoon. That ain't easy to do. We had our doubts for sure. But it's this time of year, I feel like it's... I don't know, I haven't been down here, but I feel like it's- It's like on the tail end. The end. Yeah. It's just like they're not responding much. Yep. All right, dude, you gotta give us a rundown of what just happened. That, Cause uh, that, that was, was legit run and gun. Yeah. We were down and out about it. We're like, let's just get in the cart and just drive around and see if we can just gobble all over. And uh, <laughs> like, I don't know, it was like 10 minutes into it, we're just sitting there, I'm playing on my phone and he's just singing to himself and then just like out of nowhere just like right in front of us within like 10 yards and i'm like i jump off the freaking car and i grab the gun there's like I'm five sitting, of them yeah there's like five all good toms. big toms yeah. yeah and i'm sitting here trying to check and see if this i take i got two shots off the first shot i was like running and they were running and the second shot uh he was pretty far he was like 60 yards yeah and he folded it up yeah but like 60 yards. you gotta give him the backstory. i think this is the same group of like five toms we've been chasing for two days straight yeah all day well before i came like uh mike and old mullet senior kept telling me that they've seen like the same group over and over same time of day and we'd hear them and they'd respond and then they would never show up it's yeah like, literally 30 minutes ago they were gobbling to yeah. us oh yeah we didn't even tell that 30 minutes before this happened we're in the field and they're like right like within 100 yards uh, on the other side of these tree the, these junipers and then they wouldn't they just wouldn't come up come over to us it's like they they'll they'll gobble at us a couple times and then they'll just quit and then we walk over to see where they're at and they're just disappeared yeah. and these i mean they went far oh yeah they went a long ways yeah, from where far. we heard them last gobble but that's the biggest up, that's the biggest beard we've shot this year for sure Freaking, yeah, he's pretty too. Check that fan out. Golly, dude, he's oh, beautiful. Pretty. Good. That's awesome. Well, She's it is 85 degrees, so we probably should clean them up. That's probably the latest I've ever shot a turkey, and it's probably the hottest. For yep. shizzle. Yep. For shizzle. Hey, you finally got your Texas turkey down. Yeah, I know. It's been a while. Yep. My whole life. Never shot a turkey in Texas. Colorado, Kentucky, Kansas, never Texas. I meant to yeah. say Texas, my bad. Got yeah. it done. Got her done. Thanks, mullet man. Yeah. Hey, thanks for driving right into it. <laughs> I know. If you didn't do that, man, we, we wouldn't have got a thunder chicken down. Sending them pics. You gotta send one to Justin. That's what I'm trying to send it to you right now, is Justin. Justin was supposed to try to come out. Yeah, he was gonna be with us today, but we might see him tonight. Yeah, he's coming tonight. Turkey, turkey in the back. Gonna like. Turkey nuggets for dinner. Righty, guys, we made it back. We got our pictures, and uh, this is some secret stuff. But if y'all haven't, we had that lucky lipper in. Y'all haven't checked out. Y'all didn't know, which you probably do, because a lot of y'all subscribed to me from Jared back in the day but he has his own dip company, so if you dip and you're trying to quit, uh, this is all tobacco free. Hey, don't be a quitter, just be an outlaw. <laughs> That's 
so we got a bunch of pictures with some of his you'll see those in the uh see all those pictures on social media soon but yeah. we're gonna clean this turkey up i feel like it was just a couple years ago we were doing this in colorado i know a couple days ago you were doing it too that's nuts that's a big old beard so we it measured it 10 and a quarter 10 and a quarter that's it's a good beard man about as big as they get around here. The spurs aren't too sharp, but they're worn down. He's, I'd they're say he's, long. he's probably a three year old bird. Yep. The old guy. So we're taking every bit off this bird. Just got off the phone with Justin, and he wants me to save the wings for him because yeah, he's, he's making, making a bunch arrows. Of arrows. And I'm gonna clean this bird, do the fan and the beard, and ship it to Jared. So, how you take a fan off of a turkey? Super easy. You come in here. Find the butthole, go above the butthole, and cut straight in, just like that. And you just cut that fan off, and you end up with a beautiful, perfect turkey fan. So, uh, y'all leave it in the comments if y'all wanna see a video how I preserve these turkey fans and make them um, to where you can hang them on your wall. It's really simple and really easy, so. Now for the good part, and the legs, Angel makes a turkey stock out of the legs and thighs, and then the meat that comes out of that stock, uh, we make like pulled turkey uh, barbecue sandwiches, and they're delicious. That's what I love about Mullen Man. I don't even have to ask him and he cleans my birds. Oh yeah, I forgot. I yeah. even... <laughs> Thanks man. I'm cleaning it, sorry. I don't have a YouTube channel to show off on anymore. Either. Oh yeah, there's no need for you to clean it. Yeah. So uh, I split the skin on the breast, and then I just pull that skin down to where the breast is exposed on both sides. Just like a goose. You ever yeah. done a goose before? Except for this tastes a lot better. Yeah, a lot better than a goose. Try to keep those feathers off that meat. And then you want to take your knife, run it down that breast collar or breastplate and you just want to work that breast down try to keep feathers off but if you get them on there you can always clean it off later you always end up with some feathers on your meat he's been eating corn You just work that breast down. Just like that. Mm -hmm. And that is a clean one half of a turkey breast. this other side and then I'll show you how to get the legs all right so we got the breast off now what you want to do is take this skin peel it off these legs pull it down pop that joint you'll see it right there and that's Angel's favorite part what once you keep the liver you want me to keep the liver yeah. all right guys liver. let's find the liver ow The tendon? Uh -uh. No. You ever showed Ryder that monkey? Uh uh. You have it? Let's see that. Right here? Yeah. I leave it long enough? Should have. That come out like a string? No. We used to do this all the time. Ah. Yeah. Uh, Dad and Papa bring it back. And 
a bit more, you can grab that tendon right there. And show rider. And it'll you can push it too and it'll open the foot up. So it'll go like that. <laughs> Dad, leave me alone. I've never seen that. Pop that joint. There's another leg. And you just cut it right here. Breaks it down. Bye bye, turkey. <laughs> After that dries, that stuff one's up in there, then you can really open it up. Make really it up work more. it. Yeah. <laughs> you can make some turkey stock tomorrow. Yeah. So we'll get these wings off for Justin, and uh, I'll see you guys at the house. We're gonna we'll figure up some kind of good turkey dish, something new, something that y'all haven't seen, and uh, see you at the house. All right, guys. So. I took Jared to the airport and uh, he said I should make some turkey poppers. So I got some cream cheese, jalapeno, bacon, and some turkey. So we're going to cut these pieces of turkey into popper size pieces. And uh, we're going to make us some turkey poppers for lunch. This is the turkey tenderloin right here. This is the best part on a turkey. All right, so I got my turkey cut up and we are going to season it. Got some Crater Glitter Fish and Fowl. We are like this close to releasing our new spices. So y'all stay tuned for our new spices. And if you haven't got um, the spices that we already have out, go check out Maltman.net, you can get the Critter Glitter Fish and Fowl and the Critter Glitter Red. So we're gonna season this turkey up before we get it all wrapped up. Get it nice and seasoned. Roll it around a little bit. And then we're gonna take us, oh, we need to cut our jalapenos a little bit. I always like to cut them into a couple strips like that and then cut chunks. Like that. So it will take us a little sliver of cream cheese. Take a piece of turkey. Slide that on there. Jalapeno goes on top just like that. Then we'll take a piece of bacon and wrap that around. Take a toothpick and stick it through and that goes on the pan we're actually going to cook these in the oven because i think it does just as good of a job as the grill and a lot of people don't have a smoker so um, i'm going to fill this plate up with turkey poppers and uh, i'll show you what they look like whenever they're ready to go into the oven all right we got poppers going in the oven set to 350 and then once the uh, once it's pretty well cooked i will put it on broil on high to crisp that bacon up and then we'll pull them out and eat good all right guys we got all kinds of stuff going on we got stuff cooking for easter we got about probably a hundred eggs boiling in here that we're canning uh if y'all want to see stuff like that like boiling eggs or canning eggs pickling eggs stuff like that y'all let me know i can do videos on that but our turkey nuggets are done Pull these guys out of here. Let them cool off. And then we'll do a little taste test. Alright guys, we're going to do a little taste test. Take us one of these. One out of ten turkey popper. All that bacon grease. Mmm. That is delicious. I might have to give that like a solid 9-3. I think I'm gonna have to say that's better than the fried turkey. That is so good. 
Well, that is a solid recipe right there. Angel loved it too. So if you kill turkey this year, try it fried and try turkey poppers because they're both really delicious. But we got more videos coming soon. Headed down to the coast very soon as well. So we're going to have some fishing videos and maybe some flounder gigging videos. So y'all stay tuned. Uh, like I said, go to my merch site, multman.net. Get you some spices. Get you some multman swag. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Hit that subscribe button. Hit the thumbs up. And remember, eat good.